Hey guys, what is up in Cameo? Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on how to make money as a teenager. Now, I know as a high school student, it can be hard to make money with your schedule being so hectic. It can be hard to work just a regular job. So I'm bringing you guys some pretty unique techniques on how to make some extra money while you're still in school. So the first technique that I feel like isn't really taken advantage of very often is to sell drugs. Just kidding guys, <laughs> don't sell drugs. Um, it's not the life you want to go down. Anyway, the first real technique to make some money while you're still in high school is use something called Opinion Outpost or a similar website. Now Opinion Outpost is a website that allows you to fill out surveys in turn for points. With those points, you can use those points to redeem PayPal gift cards, Amazon gift cards, and more. So if you're looking to earn some extra money, I love Opinion Outpost. I think that's a great method to go with. And personally, unless they've changed opinion outposts in the last couple of days, I found that you can make about 10 bucks every three days by filling out surveys. And it's not like you're filling out surveys all the time, but you fill out a couple surveys each day and it says come back tomorrow for more surveys. And then you fill out those other surveys, you fill out more surveys and you get 10 bucks. Like it's, it's that simple. It's, it's a great service and I love it. Now the next technique kind of takes some thinking outside the box, but what you can do is start a local business. Now you can't just have this idea and be like, okay, I'm gonna start this business because I like doing this, then we're gonna do this. There's a lot to starting a business and there's a lot of research that needs to go into that if you think about starting a business. My advice for starting a business is to not just go full out, you know, head on, we're gonna start a business. It's come up with some problems that are going on in your area and what can be done to solve those and base your business around those solutions. That way you actually have an audience base right out of the gate with your business. Another way to make money as a teenager I think is really cool and it really just take a skill that you have. Let's say you're into graphic design or woodworking or just take your hobby and try to implement it into your town or city that you live in. If you are a graphic designer, see if there's any businesses that need work uh, for graphic design work. If you're a woodworker, see if anyone needs you know, benches or other stuff. Just take your hobby and try to find ways to advertise it to the people around you. What you can do is, you know, make some money that way, but still pursue your hobby. If you actually know a good amount about computers and you're confident you can fix something, advertise your services, market yourself. However, if you can't do what you say you can, don't market yourself as a computer tech if you can't fix people's problems. So just make sure you know what you're doing when it comes to your hobby that you're marketing yourself as a professional, per se. And the last method you can do, which seems kind of obvious, is get a seasonal job. Now, you may be busy during the school year, but you do have your breaks. You have Thanksgiving and Christmas break, you have your summer break, you have spring break, you have weekends. Whatever time you're free, try to find a job that fits that schedule. If none of these other methods are really sounding appealing, just get a job like most people and suffer through it like the rest of us do. <laughs> um, there's plenty of jobs available during the summer, during Christmas break. I know like over the summer, for example, if you want to work at a pool or if that's you know, one of the options you're considering, you know, most towns have like a, a city pool that you can work at as whether it's a lifeguard or working in the concessions or working the front desk, there's positions available. You can work for the city and while it's not going to pay great, it's a job with pretty flexible hours. I know Shields is a, a retail store and they're looking for holiday help basically all the time um, during the holiday season. So if you're looking to work you know, just during Christmas break or Thanksgiving break, check places like that. Best Buy does the exact same thing. So if you're looking to work holidays, so like Thanksgiving break, if you're looking to work summer, Christmas break, apply to a place like Best Buy. Hy-Vee is a grocery store. Most grocery stores are also very flexible when it comes to scheduling high schoolers because it's basically just high schoolers that work there besides managers. So check those options out. Also, you can't go wrong with advertising yourself on like Facebook and Twitter to shovel snows, mow lawns, just do labor work that people don't want to do. Pick up dog poop if you have to. <laughs> um, but just, just do some seasonal work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm glad I made it. I'll give you guys some tips on how to make some extra money. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.